Hello guys, uh, today we are going to uh, learn how to install the builds board and uh, how it can be useful to monitor various num various instances of Jenkins. You can install builds board from source boss. We are having some prerequisites before installing and uh, using Pillsport. So these are the prerequisites. So Java and Jenkins installation. Installation of Pillsport is nothing like extracting the zip file here. <coughs> Uh, before uh, before starting, I'm just ensuring uh, my Jenkins instance is up and running. It's fine. It's running. Okay. I'm extracting now. Billsboard having two major files, which is uh, Jenkins URL .txt file. This is a config file for Billsboard, and uh, dashboard .bat file is an executable file for Billsboard. By default, uh, there would be localhost with port number 8080. Is a URL already been in Jenkins URL text file? I am also providing another instance of Jenkins. And save it. Make sure uh, your, your Jenkins URL text file doesn't have any spaces or any new lines or extra lines like that and run the dashboard that bad file I'm running this in command prompt here here it's showing all the console output uh, it generated with the uh, view names of particular Jenkins instances and job names as well and it's uh, it will show the detailed information of the job who started and how it how much the time it took like that after that it will generate a dashboard.html file open this html file in your browser see so billsboard having uh, every detail of the Jenkins instance which you have provided in the Jenkins URL text file. On clicking the billsboard, it will refresh the page. See, it it is refreshing the page, and here it it, it shows all the uh, uh, view views of a particular or uh, uh, specific instance of Jenkins, and even you can search for the particular jobs, and it is a uh, uh, search is uh, case sensitive. is showing a uh, CA2 job which present in various instances of the Jenkins and even you can navigate to particular view of uh, particular Jenkins so if I click on CI it will go go into the local 8080 port with CI view so it's navigating to the CI view and there are uh, certain useful things here you can directly navigate to the particular job on particular instance of Jenkins I'm clicking say to its see it will open a new tab and navigate to the CA job you can even uh, run the build with parameters and everything you can play around with this and even you can run the build from builds board only see is directly going to the um, build phase of the CI2 job and it is asking for the build with the parameters and you can directly go to the last build last build of CI2 and clicking the status so uh, the last build is number 5 which is successful and uh, 
who started the build and how much time it took only one second and you, you, even you can directly go to the console output of number 5 build see this is a console output of number 5 of CA2 and it will show when it was uh, triggered so like this uh, you can monitor the various instance of the Jenkins even you can uh, collapse the entire uh, uh, Jenkins face so these are the collapsing things you can see particular uh, 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 particular Jenkins as well by expanding expanding this so this is how we can use the dashboard for this board thanks for watching the video guys